Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle aka Stitcherista here on YouTube and today is going to be a bonus video because I forgot to include this in the other video. <laughs> a subscriber had wanted to know how I organize my supplies for crafting so I can give you a quick tour and show you. We are here first in my office because I have my cross stitch stuff, most of it in here. So let me flip you around. This is my stitching chair. Absolutely love it. Um, this is actually a stitching stand, which I currently just use for my lamp. So when I sit and stitch, I have this lamp on. Absolutely love this lamp. I feel like I have this linked in the description box. I am not going to be able to link everything. I'm going to try. Um, but if you, if I don't link something and you want it, just comment and I'll, I'll send you the link. But um, I'm pretty sure I have this linked already in every video. I love this lamp. This is one of the best ones I've ever had and it's very inexpensive. So I also have my little tray here that clamps onto the arm of the chair. Um, this is an Oort holder that I got. It's actually a pencil cup that I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. But um, And this is a little tray that Jill got me and I keep lip balm, hand lotion. These are my Raycon earbuds, the key for my stitching thing. Um, scissors, nail file, my pencil sharpener because I use a colored pencil to mark my patterns off now. And then here's my stitching. So here, uh, you know, Q-snap, Q-snap holder. I have one um, project keeper that my beautiful, wonderful friend uh, Brooke made me. So that's what I keep. And I am only a one whip at a time person. So I have been working on this project since February of this year. So here though, this I did get from Amazon. Um, I, co I covered the top of this in contact paper. So in the top drawer, I keep just all kinds of stuff. Um, I have some uh, Grime Guards, Phoenix, which is the next one I wanna work on, but I keep some fabric. And this is a project I wanted to do on perforated paper. Here I have just padded envelopes for when I do giveaways. And then I have nothing in there. But in my closet, now if you remember, back, it's been a full year now. I did a huge clean out of my crafting closet, crafting area, cleaned out everything. So this is where I keep my Lowry. And this is where I keep my cross stitch patterns. These are the only ones I have now. I don't have very much anymore. I have a lot of PDF though on my computer, but this is my perforated paper. So I keep that stuff on this bookshelf in um, magazine holders. And then up here, I have a lap desk. See this shelf is like completely empty just mm. about. And then this is Phoenix that I started on perforated paper that I'm going to do next after I'm done chameleon. But the big organization happens in my crafting room. That was my stepdaughter's um, bedroom. So let's go over there. Because someone, the person that requested this said, their area is such a mess. How do I keep mine so nice and neat? Because it's a habit for me. I've just always been like that. But this is my big, wonderful bookshelf that um, Bill got me for Christmas last year and we put together. Um, I keep, I only have a handful of diamond painting pens now, so I keep them here on these holders, these two holders. This um, holds all of my sulky threads. I actually got these containers from Fat Quarter Shop. They are really fantastic. Um, they hold all of them. These hold my putty from Nix's Notions. I got these from Amazon. They are actually uh, clear acrylic holders for like perfume. And there's my other collection of putty. This is my DMC vintage cabinet. This holds all of my DMC. I have the pip and chip bobbins and the foam inserts. Um, my wonderful friend Brandon wound all of my DMC onto these bobbins priceless. I cannot thank him enough for doing that. And he did it very nice and quickly too. And then up here I have my buttons. 
I have my uh, Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid that I love. And then I always keep on hand a box of DMC White and DMC Black because those colors are used so frequently. So that's that. Then here I have uh, another Ikea cart. So I have my Copic markers there for coloring. And then down below I have um, Stickles, which is also used for coloring. I don't color very much anymore, um, but let me show you what I keep. I got the lid for this on Etsy and Bill painted it teal for me to match it. So in here are my diamond painting supplies. So these are the mesh rollers that I got from Donnie, except the one I'm using. This is extra 310. I keep all extra diamonds that don't fit in the credenza. These are uh, magnetic push pins that I used to use to hold um, my diamond painting onto the light pad. This is the key that I stick on the inside of the credenza when I'm diamond painting. I use um, the museum putty to hold it. Those are my extra binder sheets for my Diamond Art Club little inserts that I do. And I just love to have this lid on there because I can have it hidden. And then I keep this that a wonderful subscriber made for me, Joanne. I love that so much. Okay, so then this is a actually a scrapbook cart. If you go to Michael's, it's in the scrapbook section. But um, this is my glue gun, cordless iron. Here I keep other diamond painting supplies, extra trays, pretty placers, um, the uh, Release papers I get from Crafts with Crashly, which I have her website linked in the description box. This is actually a tray minder that I don't use, but I still love it. And I have my roller. Here I have glue, um, my heat gun, um, stuff when I make fabric covered buttons, E6000 glue. Then I have ribbon. Then I have duct tape, glue sticks, more glue dots, um, gems. And then I have paint pens and my rotary cutter. I really try to keep this neat as much as I can. Fabric for finishing, more fabric for finishing and some things I can make needle minders out of or use as embellishments on bows. This is where, so this is a little baby iron and this is stuff for framing. This is a stapler, but this is like picture hangers and things like that. Trims that I've gotten from um, Primrose Cottage Stitches Etsy store. Um, just different trims, ribbons, all of that. And then this is just odds and ends. So I have diamond painting tray. This is actually to organize diamond paintings that I got from Etsy. But like there's one of the eyeglass chains that I used for the magnetic frame and just some odds and ends in there. Here I keep my, these are all my scrapbook papers. So scrapbook papers and more scrapbook papers and um, stickers and felt. This is a rotary paper cutter that I use. Oh. This is my wonderful desk that my mom got me for Christmas. Absolutely love it. That is actually a diamond painting kit I need to do a sneak peek for coming up. Um, I keep, this is an orchid that I got from Costco a long time ago. Candy, um, my diamond painting trays from Nix's Notions. This is a creative station that you can make, um, put adhesive on the back of. Absolutely love that. Just other little odds and ends in there. This is like all of my glues, tapes. This I actually bought because I was gonna organize colored pencils in it. I got it from Etsy and it's like a lazy Susan, but it didn't work for the colored pencils, but it works fantastic to um, hold scissors, rotary cutter, um, pens, pencils, wire cutters, bolt, um, bolt cutters, um, box cutter. This is the washi tape holder that I got from Michaels. Absolutely love that. The drawers pull out. 
I organized my diamond paintings. There are some under here, very nicely, neatly stacked. Remember, I keep um, all of the sheets in the binder, which I'll show you in a second, but I also have the Gems Flow app on my phone that um, I keep track of on my diamond paintings. That's a trash can, by the way. Is it not the cutest trash can you've ever seen? Can you even? Um, here I have used three M hooks to hang. That is a double-sided, um, it's a cutting board on one side, and then uh, you can iron on this side, and this is a lip edge ruler. Uh, readers I have hung up, and then here is my diamond painting desk. So there's my credenza with all of my wonderful diamonds in it for T. Rose Fairy. Uh, a lamp that I got on Amazon that I love. My light pad in the diamond painting. Um, this is a little tiny trash can that I got. Oh, where did I get this from? It's, an, it's a store on Etsy. I'd have to look it up. I'll try to remember. I absolutely love it because this lid comes off. If I can get it off. And it holds like a cover minder. It has um, a magnet on the back of this that holds it on there. It's wonderful. And then this is a tray I got from Lexi Sparkles. Absolutely love that. So it holds my putty. I keep lip balm, a pretty placer, a pen, tweezers. This is the pen I actually diamond paint with. And then I have mug mats. I have various mug mats around. I have this one. I have that one. I have that one and that one. <laughs> I love them so much, all from Etsy. So I keep my readers on here because when I diamond paint, I use readers. And then this is another little bookshelf that I have. Um, I have a second printer for uh, coloring pages that I print out when I do that. So on these shelves, this was the diamond painting setup I used before I had my credenza. This is fantastic. If I ever have a diamond painting that has more than 60 colors, I can use this. Um, stuff for scrapbooking, this is stuff for coloring that is um, chalk pastels. This is actually scrapbook and this is cross stitch stuff in here. Origami papers, coloring stuff, that's all coloring pencils, markers, gel pens, all of my coloring books, a pencil sharpener. And then this is the binder that I use to keep all of my big DAC inventory sheets in. So starting with the video I just put up, I have this binder and the uh, sheet protectors linked in the description box. And then finally is my closet. So I will show you how I organize in here. I love this closet because I can actually walk in it. So up here are the rest of my Diamond Art Club kits. I wanna say I have 34 kits total. So between here and then down there. Eventually, when that gets too high, I'm going to have to put kits on the top shelf in my office. That's why I have that shelf cleared off. But I have a step stool here. This is a little tiny bookshelf that I have. Yes, I have 10 pound weights for when I glue stuff and I wanna hold it down till it sandwiches together. Um, small sandwich bags. Latex gloves, because when I paint or use any kind of adhesive, I always wear gloves. That's all of the spray paint I have. This is a wonderful big cutter. If you want to cut um, like the sticky board, this will cut it with no problem. These two baskets are, I have like finishing forms in here that I've gotten from Dollar Tree, that I've gotten from Stitch, etc. like the little um, wooden boards that I've gotten. So these two hold that, plus it also holds the tripod when I do a, a whip and chat. This is the tripod that I uh, clip onto my table. And then I have this. This I got from Walmart. So I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I have um, picture hangers, um, a tarp for when I will paint um, perforated paper. I lay it out on the floor so I don't get my floor messy. This drawer has different thread. It has a, a couple stands in it that I have. These I bought to hold um, sulky thread. Just some different little organization things. And then here is where I have all of my hoops, other Q-snaps, 
all of my stretcher bars. So yeah, this has all been come in handy very, very much. And it's been a work in progress for sure, because this was not, I don't want to say easy to figure out how to organize, but I know where everything is. So it can be done if you are willing to clean out and purge. I cleaned out and gave away and sold. I gave my mom and my sister so much stuff that I had. Oh my God. But I absolutely love my crafting area. I am so very blessed to have two rooms in our house that let me express my creativity and be able to do all of this. So, but yeah. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.